Welcome to Kennedy Space Center. So it does cost $10 to park here? Yeah. Look at the little... Whee! It's a countdown clock from Kennedy Space Center's press site. It's considered one of the most viewed timekeepers in the world. Explore. Looks like we have to go through some metal detectors first. Look at the size of these things. Wow. There is a shark one. So are we do we go in each building? The Heroes and Legends building. These things are tall. It's a very windy day. It feels beautiful though. Oh yeah. Maybe we get a booklet. There's like yeah. some pamphlets down there we might need to uh, check out. Okay, Manny grabbed a pamphlet. There's a daily schedule. Daily schedule. But I don't see anything about that. Let's try this building out first. Nature and technology. Oh. Native Americans. The Spanish soldier's helmet. I don't think I could fit my head in that. Ponce de Leon. The New World. Pirates and privateers. A flintlock pistol from 1750. Whoa. That's old. U.S. buys Florida, 1821. The 27th state. That's cool. Oh, two tone linen bustle dress and straw hat from 1880. I think I could fit in that. What is this? Child's play. Dress apron from 1869. Whoa. Potions and remedies. Oh, look at those old playing cards. Farmer's Almanac, 1833. It's almost as old as Mandy. What is this? There's a gator. Kennedy Space Center located on a barrier island. 34 miles long. Oh. Oh, there's a deer. It better not be real. Where's the topography? Whoa. That's a big gator. Ducks. 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 Oh. oh, America, bald eagle. There are at least five active bald eagle nests around the launch pads at Kennedy Space Center. That's cool. Oh, sea turtle. Saving the sea turtles. What? What do you got? Oh, you see the dragonflies on there? Oh yeah, there are dragonflies. And then there's another one back there. Oh yeah, hiding in the bushes. Is that Pumbaa? I know there's butterflies on it. Oh, there's butterflies. Watch, it'll close its wings. That's not a warthog. I know it's not a warthog. This is really neat. These things are huge. Shooting to the moon. Juno 2, 77 feet tall. This is pretty neat. They have little placards at the, there's two or three of them at the end of each, or at the bottom of each rocket. 
explaining what they did and where they're from and the details about them. Very cool. Let's go check out this guy. Look at this guy. This guy is huge. Whoa. Getting history off the ground. Apollo 7? The Apollo 7. Wow. This sign, less than three years after Sputnik, NASA began testifying Saturn 1, the first launch vehicle created specifically for the space program. It was the largest rocket ever built in America. There's one more sign up here. Let's see what it says. The end of the beginning, what began as a competition of fear in 58, became a quest for common ground 17 years later. Here we go. Here's the data. 223 feet. Wow. 2 million pounds of liftoff thrust. That's crazy. And right behind it, or in front of it, this guy. Ooh. This is the one that has a shark face on it. With its inaugural liftoff of Cape Canaveral Space Launch Complex 17, February 14, 1989, Delta II, 128 feet. What is this for? Uh, oh, it's for GPS satellites. Windy out here today, everybody. You see Mandy and Maddie right where are they? Right there. Look at the size of this thing, it's huge. There's one more sign over here for this guy Delta II by the numbers 52 science and exploration missions, 57 national security missions, 46 commercial missions. The Rocket Garden Cafe. It's closed. It says breakfast from 9 to 10.30 and lunch from 11 to 4. So there is shows here, but you need to get one of these daily schedules. Because they do only certain times for each show. Check out this painting. That's really cool. Of the International Space Station. Astronaut training experience? Bus tours? That's a really cool symbol. Look at the floor. The Mars rover. Ten and a half feet tall, 13 feet wide. Weighs 5,500 pounds, max speed, five miles per hour. The Mars rover vehicle navigator has the capability of separating into two sections. Check out these wheels. That's pretty wild. Look at the seats. That sign's awesome. That's cool. I'm going to do a bus tour. It's big. It's wild. It's dangerous. So, pretty good amount of people here for a bus tour. So, on behalf of NASA, the National Aeronautics Space Administration, Delaware North, my name is Ken. I'll be ESCO to the Apollo Saturn V. Now, I'm going to step off the land now. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for man. our place amongst the stars since the dawn of humankind. We've looked at the stars with wonder and amazement, their glow guiding our travel for centuries. The more we learn about our universe, the more questions we have. The VAB. It is one of the largest buildings in the world by volume and is the place where NASA completes the final assembly of its rockets before launch. The sheer scale of this building is hard to grasp 
even when you're right next to it. Do you ever feel really small when you think about space? What about when you're standing next to a skyscraper or a really big bridge? Well, I feel about as small as an ant right now. I'm standing inside the vehicle assembly building trying to grasp how large it really is in here. It has four bays. Each bay has two large horizontal doors below it and seven smaller vertically opening doors above it, tall enough to fit the world's largest rocket through. In fact, these are the largest doors in the world. It was built in the 1960s for the Apollo program. Every Saturn V rocket that sent humans to the moon was assembled right here. Every space shuttle mission also assembled within these same walls. After the space shuttle program, a major renovation to the inside of this building began to accommodate NASA's next generation of rockets, the Space Launch System, or SLS. Next door at the vehicle assembly building, what work is left to be done here at Launch Control? Well, in Launch Control, we're finishing up our preparations for launch. Our software is nearly done, we're working on our procedures, our team is training, and so we're really finishing up the Touch the moon. rocket ships and took to the stars. And I wanted to be like them. They had courage, imagination, and no problem ever stood in their way for long. You know, in the end, when we actually did send men into space. Looks like we're heading into fine room number one. Wow, just like it was in 1968. Please be seated in the front row. This is the firing room. Launch control for the Apollo missions. This is not a mock-up. These are the very consoles we sat at when men first took off to fly to the moon. The tragedy of Apollo 1 had put us a year and a half behind. We were making up for it in one big leap. And we were doing it with a rocket that no man had ever flown before. It was a few days before Christmas, 1968. You are now in the final minutes before the launch of Apollo 8. Right here, where it actually happened. Mankind is about to leave his planet behind and journey to another. It is one of those rare moments when history is not being made, destiny is being embraced.
was awesome. Yeah, that was cool. Oh my god, that thing's huge. It's hard to say how big this thing is on camera, but it's huge. Wow. So I'm standing in the back of the building. This thing is huge. It's so impressive. And over here on the right is the capsule that they returned in. You just end up keep staring at it just because of how big it is. I mean, the capsule's big itself. Super excited to see inside this thing. That is cool. It's crazy the size of this thing. I actually have a nice little cafe here. Hot and colds. Van. That's cool. An Apollo One tribute. This is so cool. Oh wow. It's the hero's walk. Oh, poor kid. Sixteen. Apollo 14 lunar tool cart. This is the real one. Yeah. Apollo 
17, Commander Gene Kernan, Cernan, driving a lunar rover during your last mission on the moon. Wow. Look at the tires. Look at this vault door. Whoa. Lunar sample. Wow. The Apollo 14 capsule. Another lunar sample. Moon rock containment vessels. Or what we call them back home, a cup. A space maintenance kit. We got O rings up there. Pretty wild. Go no go cue card. Lunar sample bag dispenser. Lunar surface maps. Television camera. Look at that guy. Extra vehicular activity tree gloves. Uh, check a suit out. size of this thing is insanely big holy moly <laughs> Shows here are so cool. Man, this thing is huge. It's hard to like fathom the size of these things. It's huge. So cool. How cool is this? <laughs> it's too big, like I can't even get it in the camera. Look at the wings. Oh, cool, there's a little slide over there. <laughs> Check out this Airstream. This thing's awesome. There's so many things here to do and read and watch and interact. We actually don't have enough time in one day.